Hello everyone, I am Legend here, bringing you as a tutorial slash build guide for your room of requirement. I was doing a poll on YouTube a couple of days ago and received a lot of votes for Slytherin, so I'll be going through how I designed mine and also briefly cover the other ones. First things first, to decorate your room of requirement and utilize the space completely, I would highly recommend finishing off the main story first as it will increase the size of the room. You get this after killing the final boss and completing the last main quest. You will expand the room completely and have more space to decorate. Second thing we're gonna need are a lot of moonstones and you need to find all the collection chests or even some of them to decorate the room. I have covered the importance of moonstones and collection chests in how to build my vivarium video that will pop up on top right of the screen right now or I'll link it in the description. Also a quick tip on the moonstone farming. You can fast travel to Coral Runes Flu Flame in North Hogwarts region and farm this area. Once you are done, forward the time by 3 days or just wait on the time for 5 to 6 times and repeat the process. You will get like 100ish moonstones or even 120 sometimes if you are lucky. I will also link the moon farming video in the description. Another method is buy the material refiner from tombs and scrolls in Hogsmeade and you get like 30 moonstones for every 10 minutes. As mentioned earlier, I am showing the Slytherin one for the tutorial. You can go with any theme or any house you like. For your reference, I have separate videos of room tours on each house vibe in the channel. Alright, since we got all that out of the way, let's start decorating your room. For Slytherin, I went with whole gothic vibe to give dark dungeon feel. If you are a different house, you can choose accordingly. To start off, go talk to Deke, your hardworking elf and ask him to change the room ambience. I went with dark and mysterious one to give you a dungeon feel. I'd like the room to feel mysterious. Oh, sorry. Or you can choose whatever you like. After changing the ambience, pull out the transfiguration spells and change the floors to gothic or any other theme you like. And hit apply all that should change the floors in all rooms for you. Once you are done with flooring, change the theme of the walls to gothic and apply it to everything. Do note that sometimes there will be a few windows or walls which will be left unchanged. So you might have to go them and change them manually. Also you can have different walls on each side of the room. There are no restrictions. If you want full gothic, you can go full gothic. Or if you want to go botanical slash gothic, you can do that too. Now highlight the ceiling with the altering spell and change that to gothic and hit apply all. This will also change the ceiling in the next room that will go into detail in a bit. If you want a separate theme in the other room, please do not hit apply all. Instead go change it manually as per your requirements. Once you are done changing walls, ceiling and the floors, now let's start putting the objects. Let's start off by placing some couches in the main seating area. And yes, I do love couches. Bruh. <clears throat> anyway, after that, I finished off by placing the botanical standing lights to finish off the main seating area. And of course, put any table in the middle. And a rug at the bottom to make it feel even more lively. Of all the potions you brew. And in one of the corners, I've made another small seating area with botanically decorated table and a dressing screen to separate it. Dressing screen can be found in the furniture tab. Like you can go with any kind of theme you want over here as well. In the other corner, I have placed desk of description to identify my gear, followed by enchanting loom to upgrade my gear. You can also shift this to other room if you like and create a small seating area here. And for the rest of the room, I have placed a bookshelf with a textile statue on one of the corners to give a dungeon feel and a small desk area on the other to finish it off. After finishing the main area, going to the top left, I have placed some banners of Slytherin. You can hang the respective banners of whatever house you belong to. There will be no house vibe if there are no banners hanging on the walls. Continuing to the left, I have created a small play area at the side of the room entrance. Inside the room, I have placed few more decorations on each corner and decorated the wall with Hogwarts logo and some more Slytherin banners. 
you can decorate the wall even further if you feel it's empty like I am doing here by placing couple of snake crests on each side of the logo and also place more items on the ground like more rugs or some other decorations. Outside of the room, I have created a small desk cozy area. You can also place few more things at the side of the stairway if you like, if you feel like if it's empty. Now going to the right, I have placed a cobblestone table with few chairs and a quidditch table with few chairs at the corner. And a cozy seating balcony with, you guessed it, more couches. Guess the comment section was right about me. Here I am just showing you how to fill the empty spaces by placing a table. You can do this with any furniture, anything you like or just leave it empty. It's up to you. After getting done with the main room, we move on to the next. I have created the entranceway with elf heads wall hangings to give it more of a gothic vibe. Once we are in the next room, we start off by placing the unicorn statue in the middle to fill the gap and also to create a vibe. Moving on, I have created a small conference room vibe over here with some chairs and a chess table and also the wall hangings with some banners and a Christmas tree to finish it off. You can place more decorations even further if you like over here. And a small office area beside the conference room with some more wall decorations and cabinets just to fill in the gaps and also create the office vibe. I have used bookshelves to separate my room into different partitions. These are amazing and can also be used as wall structures to place objects. You can use more bookshelves or dressing screens if you like to separate the room even more or just leave it empty. Moving on to the other section, this is my plants area. Please do note that I have everything in this game, so I have not placed many plant tables. But if you run a herbology build involving mandrakes, venomous tentaculars and cabbages, for the ideal setup, place two tables with five pots and two large tables with two large pots so that you have them handy every time you go for a run. You can also buy all these tables in the vendor in Hogsmeade. And of course, place your material refiners for your moonstones. To separate my plants in potion rooms, I have used two bookshelves. These come in very handy to separate the rooms like mentioned before and they act as walls. You can also take away the potions area if you like and focus more on decorating the room. I have done the same for my Ravenclaw room. You can please check that out to get an idea of what I am talking. Alright, so this concludes the tutorial on how to build your room of requirement. If you have any inputs to share and feel like I have missed out on any info, please do share them in the comment section below. If you have made this far in the video, really appreciate your time. If you feel the tutorial was informative, do leave a like on the video, helps me a ton. 
and subscribe for more Hogwarts legacy content. See you all next time. Peace.